it's Camper Christina, and I am at the oh, Wigawa. Wigawa, the Wigawa Lodge. I'm about to uh, start my five-day solo canoe trip in Killarney Provincial Park. Super excited! I've got 19k to paddle right now, so not going to be taking too many pictures. I got to get to my site and get there quick. So uh, my destination is Little Bear. Hopefully, I make it. See you soon. Hey, apologize for the shaky video. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Um, I arrived at the put-in at two. Um, well, that's when I left the put-in. <laughs> um, and it gets dark at 7.30ish, 7, 7.30. So um, I'm in a really big hurry today. I've got 19K to paddle and uh, two portages. I'm on the first of the two portages, which is 455 meters. Um, I had a bit of trouble finding it. I actually paddled past it because the sign is on a tree that's on the ground. <laughs> so um, I walked about 200 meters in the wrong direction uh, with my backpack and my food bag which I brought a separate pack for my food this time because I figured if I'm carrying the canoe by itself, I might as well bring something with it. And uh, this alleviated all the tight space in my bag and made room for my tarp and my book. I didn't bring too many extra things, but just a few. Anyway, so I'm just finishing up uh, on my way back to get the canoe. Uh, quite a ways down the shore, I might paddle it back to the portage and then carry it the rest of the way. I'll uh, figure out when I get back to it and see how far I actually am. Plus it's uh, kind of rocky rough terrain to walk with it along the shore. So we'll see. I am actually sliding down pine needles on this hill. I'm not looking forward to bringing the canoe up it. It was uh, pretty steep coming up with my backpack. <laughs> So, welcome to Killarney, the fun begins. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> Tiny portage. Seems like the, <laughs> the little ones carry quite a punch here in Colherney. Well, I am paddling, paddling, paddling right now with the loop that I that I created. Um, it's a little bit unbalanced, but it was just the way that it had to be. Um, tonight I'm staying on Little Bear. I left from the Highway 6 access point uh, from the lodge, and um, it's basically 19 kilometers of paddling uh, minus a 455 meter portage, 165 meter portage, and one that wasn't on the map was about 50 meters, but um, it was straight up and uh, over loose and jagged big rocks. So that was a bit of a challenge, even though it was tiny. Um, so right now I am on Lang Lake and I am heading towards Little Bear. Uh, that's the first site 
that was possible for me to take. And um, I've been panicked all day, uh, all week actually, ever since I booked this trip, wondering if I'm going to make it to this site. Uh, the good news is that after uh, 12 kilometers in of the 19, there's a bunch of crown land. So I figured worse comes to worse, I could always camp on the crown land. Oh, there I am. Hi. Um, but I'm going to do my best to make it to the site. Uh, with the time that it is now and the amount of kilometers left, I think I'm going to make it just before dark. So uh, I'm going to go concentrate on paddling and uh, hopefully I make it on time. Well, this is something that rarely happens to me. I'm actually going with the current and I don't have the wind against me. I just stopped paddling for a few moments. I, I'm just like making really good time and I'm like, why? And I, I just noticed, well, I'm going with the current. This is great. Well, it's about five to six and uh, I'm about four-ish kilometers from my site. Super excited, very happy. Um, and uh, my arms really, really hurt, <laughs> but it's a good hurt. That's a pretty hard sight to look at. <laughs> well, it's 636 and I believe that is my campsite up ahead. Yay! Well, I had enough time to set up my tent and uh, there was some wood here. I gathered a little bit too and I'm ready to get a fire going in a sec. Just want to put all my stuff away and uh, maybe I'm going to put the tarp up over the tent. That way tomorrow morning when it's raining, when I wake up, I can just pack up my stuff all dry underneath it and then cook under it. So I'm sitting at my site having a fire waiting for my food and I look up and I see the most beautiful moon I've ever seen and of course I don't have a good enough camera to capture it, but oh, it's incredible. It's this beautiful light yellowy orange color and it's huge and it's reflecting in the water. And I only have this one little area where I can see. The rest is all trees and I'll have to show you tomorrow or I'll put a little clip in here, but Oh, I wish someone was here to see this with me. It's amazing. Good morning. Well, it was a rainy day. Uh, it started raining about four o'clock this morning. Um, and it is pouring right now. Uh, the bad part of that scenario is not really the rain, but the wind. It's very, very windy right now. Um, as you can see, my selfie stick is kind of moving around. It's leaning against the tent. <laughs> Sorry uh, for the bad film quality. <laughs> ah! um, like I said, it's very windy. Um, I've got about five hours of traveling today. I decided last night to revise my route. Um, I'm still staying on Great Mountain, but um, I was told yesterday that Goose Lake is pretty much impassable and it's just going to be a really long portage. Uh, so I've decided to take another route. There is another option and I figure I might as well take it. It's one more portage, but a little less paddling. So I'm going to do that. Um, if I take my time, it'll probably take me about five hours to get to the site. Um, so even if I left at noon, I would arrive at five, even six o'clock um, if I was stretching it. So I've got some time to spare, so I'm going to use it and I'm going to wait and see if this, this wind dies down a little bit. I'm not really worried about the rain. I've triple waterproofed everything this trip and um, my clothes should stay nice and dry underneath. Um, but I'm just worried about the wind right now. So hopefully it'll die down soon. The rain is supposed to lighten up as the day goes on. When it's safe to travel, I will do so. I'm still windbound. Just hanging out in my tent. <coughs> it's about quarter to 10. 
and uh, I think it even stopped raining, but this wind is just crazy, and I'm not going anywhere. Worst case scenario, I might just spend a second night here and then go to Howie Street from here in this great mountain. Um, I know that no one's staying on this site tonight unless they booked it today, which is a pretty slim chance considering the weather, so just have to see what happens. Well, in the time it's taken me to pack up, uh, the wind has died down a tiny bit more. Uh, it's still gusting, but I think I should be okay. So um, I'm all packed up and um, I'm gonna get going. Wish me luck. I never thought of this scenario. <laughs> the water is actually just taking me where I'm supposed to go right now. Maybe the wind will actually be at my back. The sky looks like it's clearing. It's not even raining anymore. It hasn't been for quite some time, so here we go.